Why, one might ask, is understanding ICHQ2 guidelines so vital to the field of pharmaceuticals? Well, the simple answer is that these guidelines provide a framework for the validation of analytical procedures, which is crucial for ensuring the quality, safety, and efficacy of medicines. But let's delve deeper into the matter. ICH, or the International Council for Harmonization of Technical Requirements for Pharmaceuticals for Human Use, developed the Q2 guidelines to harmonize the recommendations on validation of analytical procedures. Now, what does this mean? Essentially, these guidelines aim to ensure that analytical methods used in testing pharmaceutical products are reliable and consistent. So how does one go about applying these guidelines? It's a process that can be broken down into several steps. First, there's the definition of the analytical procedure. This involves detailing the operations to be performed, the order in which they should be executed as well as the data to be obtained. Next, comes the identification of the validation characteristics. These include accuracy, precision, specificity, detection limit, quantitation limit, linearity, and range. Each of these characteristics plays a vital role in ensuring that the analytical procedure can reliably and consistently deliver accurate results. The third step is the validation of the analytical procedure. This involves conducting experiments to demonstrate that the procedure is suitable for its intended purpose. The method should be tested under the same conditions that will be used in routine analysis. The fourth step involves carrying out the system suitability testing. This is to ensure that the entire analytical system including the instrument, reagents and analysts is capable of achieving the desired results. Finally, there's the documentation of all the processes, results and conclusions. This allows for the traceability of the validation and supports the verification of the procedure. So, to give a comprehensive summary, the ICHQ2 guidelines provide a robust framework for the validation of analytical procedures in the pharmaceutical industry. They start with the definition of the analytical procedure, followed by the identification of the validation characteristics. The procedure is then validated and the system suitability is tested. All the steps are documented for traceability and verification. This process ensures that the analytical methods used in testing pharmaceutical products are reliable and consistent, contributing to the quality, safety, and efficacy of medicines. And this, dear listeners, is why understanding the ICHQ2 guidelines is so crucial.